So you do a lot of bone grafting. Like what procedures are you using bone grafts and what's involved? So Randy, I, I probably use some type of either bone or gum grafting for almost every single implant procedure I do. Okay. okay? Because what creates a success is a strong foundation for that implant. So um, we do it predictably. Um, we use some of your own blood proteins that we mix in with the graft material and in the surgical site that helps with healing. It upregulates, it turns on your healing in your body and it makes everything heal better, faster, stronger. So, so when you're doing an extraction, what you like squ squirt bone building material in that socket or what do you do? We, we can do that depending on the type of bone volume we're, we're lacking. And for a typical patient, what we're doing is we take out the tooth and we're able to put the implant in and do grafting around that because the size of the implant okay. is going to be smaller than the size of the tooth that we took out. So we use FDA approved bone graft material, okay. cadaver bone. Um, and it's very safe, very effective. We don't, years ago when we did bone grafting, we had to either go to a different spot in the mouth or we went to the hip or we went to the knee to get bone. But today with the biologic agents we have, we're able to use just cadaver bone, go to somebody else for the bone and put it in place. And it's really, uh, it's routine in our practice. So pain, what about pain? For like, if you, like if you hear you have to get a bone graft, you don't have to worry about it. Randy, bone doesn't hurt, okay? okay. Gum tissue hurts, bone doesn't, okay. Okay? okay? So for most of our implant procedures, there's little or no discomfort. I mean, it's a surgical procedure. It's gonna be sore, but that's it. It's, it's usually less uh, discomfort than having an extraction done. 